Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. I'm back again to share another couple of projects with you today. Today we're using embossing folders. My cards today are, I would like to call them five minute makes because they're super easy to do, especially when you have embossing folders. I have two of them. This is, they're both 3D. This is the Spellbinders Falling Leaves embossing folder. It's beautiful. And then I also have the 3D A2, A2 um, embossing folder. It's called A Gift For You. This just has a greeting on there. I think it looks fabulous. We're going to do just regular embossing. And then we're also going to bring in a couple of die sets. I have the Arch Labels Tag. Labels and Tag die set. I have the Little Blooms die set and then I also am going to be using just some greetings I already made or already foiled. This is the Hexy Gem Sentiments hot foil plate. These are nice because you just do a whole bunch and you have greetings instantly which makes it really nice. So the cards today are pretty quick and easy so we're going to jump in and get started with our first card. First card like I mentioned, it's pretty quick and easy. I have some strips of cardstock. I kind of wanted a fall kind of a feel, but not too fall, if that makes any sense. So I just trimmed down some strips of cardstock. And this is these are all Spellbinders Color Essentials. I have uh, Glacier. This one is Chamomile, which I don't think they have anymore, but it's just a real pretty yellow. We have, this one is Peach Sorbet, Portobello, and then this one is Latte. So I think these are all going to go together. Now I trimmed them in different size strips. And what I'm going to do is I have a piece of just printer paper. This is just going to help me when I emboss. I'm going to start by adding adhesive. To, and this would be great for any color, any color combination that you have. I'm going to lay it on my printer paper here, and I'm just going to go in a in a pattern that I think looks nice. Actually, I think we're going to do this one next. You just want to make sure that. We're going to trim all around here, take a quarter inch off. So I'm not worried about the lines being, the sides being perfectly lined up. Um, I think I need to use glue for this. So we have them all tacked down. And you can see um, this overhangs just a little bit, no worries, and then the sides are not straight. That's where your paper trimmer will come in handy. I'm just going to place this in here. I'm going to take about an eighth of an inch off because I want a little bit of a border on my card base. Flip this around. I'll trim it. at four inches and then we can trim a little bit off the top I'll flip it around and I'm going to trim this at five and a quarter and there we go now I'm going to take this I'm going to place it in my embossing folder because it looks like I can get the A Gift in you in some of the sections. I think that's going to look pretty. So I'm going to run this through my um, Platinum 6 and I'll be right back. Now just to make this stand out a little bit more, we're going to bring in some white ink. I have a pigment ink. This is Simon Says Stamps white pigment ink. Pigment ink. And I'm just going to lightly go over our letters. Just so it kind of pops a little bit. And then I'm going to take this and put this directly on my card base. I'm using white flowers. Whenever I have a colored background, I think white just pops out, especially if you have a white border. So I got a few out. I am going to bring in some small foam squares. 
and we're going to do a little layering. And then I'll add this to the middle here of my O. You could actually do both of them if you wanted to. And then I'm going to add a little glue to my leaves and we'll do a little tucking with them. Press down on the petal and it'll pick it up and I don't have to add any foam square. It just adds a little extra dimension. Now for my flower center, I'm just going to color this in with some yellow. I'll just use the marker for this. Okay, we'll add a little glue. We'll place this right in the center. I'm going to add a few extra gems. These are Spellbinders Aura AB. I'll put one in the flower center here. And then I'm going to add some itty bitties just around the background. And that will finish that card. Kind of a really quick and easy card. Takes no time at all. And it's envelope friendly too because it's not too bulky. For my next card, we're going to bring in our second embossing folder, the Falling Leaves. I'm going to create a white background, but you could use any color of background you want. I'm going to emboss this panel, and then I'm also going to take my art die set and die cut out some of the same yellow cardstock. And I think I think that's a good size. For my next card, like I mentioned, we're going to leave it white and I'm going to adhere this to the front of my card base. I'll just use my tape runner. Isn't that so pretty? Just love this. Okay, and then we have the archway and then I have some same color strips that we use for our first card. I'm going to add them to the very bottom of our archway. I'm going to leave a little bit of yellow showing on the bottom. And then we'll use glue for the blue. Well, I will tack this down. And then I'll use the brown. Okay, and then if you want to take the same die and cut it out, you could actually, let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to line this back up and I will run this through my die cut machine and I will be right back. And we're using the same flowers from the Little Blooms die set. I'm just going to layer these together. And then we'll add a few gems here. I think I'm going to add one more gem, but I mentioned that we're going to be using some greetings from the Hexy Gem Sentiments. I already picked some. Um, let's bring in actually both cards. And I'm going to add... Kind of looks like a beehive, huh? I want to add one here. I am going to pop it up with foam tape, and then I'm going to add one here. We'll add our greetings. And I left these out because I do want to add one big one here. I just didn't know where to put it. And that will finish both of my cards today. Some quick cards using your embossing folders. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.